Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to this session, which will be. Uh, hang on, where is the sound? Ah, I have to mute. Sorry. Uh, where do I do that? Mm. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Ah, now I think it's fine. Sorry. Uh, I'm watching also the chat from my phone. That's why I'm a little bit confused. But I hope that you can now uh, hear me well. And I will not have any echoes. So yeah, let's just uh, let's just start. Yeah, I see that some names are the same as yesterday. I hope that I will uh, I, I will aim at giving new players uh, the chance who did not get the game yesterday. But uh, my memory is not perfect, and it is not impossible that I. We'll play anyone twice by mistake. So let's start with an Indian guy, Subham India. So good luck to you. Is he actually from India? Yes, Indian player. Uh, yeah, I'm generally accepting challenges 3 plus 0, 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2. Also faster if you wish is fine, but like uh, slower than 3 plus 2 is a little bit too slow, I think. We will simply not give people uh, give enough people a chance to play then uh, okay so he sacrifices a pawn here I'm not sure I can play d4 uh, but then he will play e3 and this pawn on d7 would be backward but I guess that's what I should do anyway mm, d4 mm. so yeah I, I think you have to play with white e3 and then claim that this pawn is backward and that the black's position is, is a bit passive, but uh, objectively speaking, uh, I don't think it's quite enough. It's also it's a bit risky not to play e3, because then this pawn is actually quite strong on d4. Uh, Bacchus, if I had a nice walk today. Yeah, I had an excellent walk with, uh, with Fianchetta and Lennart Otters. Uh, I'm now out of my quarantine officially. Because I had two negative COVID tests, uh, which is very nice. It means I can eat my meals in the restaurant. It means I can walk freely, spend time with people and so on. Uh, so that's that's very good news for me personally. Uh, and my uh, I was not doing commentary for, for TV2 today. Uh, I will do it from the remaining rounds of Norway Chess. But I was listening to it. Uh, and they were of course very very happy with Magnus win after 19 consecutive draws against Fabiano Carana he managed to win finally uh, so of course a big relief for Norwegian chess fans or big joy uh, I met uh, I met uh, actually Magnus briefly at uh, or saw him briefly at, at dinner uh, I did not have a chance to speak with him but I spoke a bit with his father and uh, they were very happy with the win, but they were also happy that they would be in time to watch no uh, Norway play football tonight. Uh, so that, that starts, I think, now uh, or any minute now. So that was also good news for them. So it's, it's a good day for Norway. Also, it, uh, Arjan Tari did not lose his game after three losses, so they were very happy with that as well. So all, all in all, uh, an excellent day and let's... Uh, Let's hope that it continues during this session, that we have some nice games together. Uh, let's see here. So I'm a, two pawns up, actually. But there is a threat of knight a4. I guess I could become greedy and take on f3. Uh, and then try to enter and pick up another pawn. Normally, don't want to give up my bishop, but uh, that's what I will do. Mm. Yeah, now now it's like white has some compensation, some activity, but three pawns is, uh, I think, at least one too many for uh, for white. Uh, let's see here. G. At some point, I need to make some luft, some space for the king. I have no idea how how Leonard's. Uh, uh, name actually is supposed to be pronounced. It's too difficult. That's why I always call him Leonard. Uh, mm, okay, let's go here. 
I mean, I'm hoping to remove my rook with some trick and then have knight b3 forking the king and the rook, but uh, yeah, let's see. And the speed demon Ali Reza has uh, won uh, against uh, uh, Levon, I saw, yeah, from a very, very dubious position. Oh, this is exactly what I want. I want him to take my rook now. Then I can make this, this fork, sorry. So, uh, what else? Yeah, in Norway chess there is a rest day tomorrow. I have no idea how I will be spending this. I have not decided yet. Uh, no, no plans. Mm, the players, I assume, will uh, mainly sleep. And uh, stay indoors, because weather is complete, completely disgusting in Stavanger currently. Mm. Yeah, now but so, somehow my, my rook is not uh, doesn't have as many squares as I would like it to have. Can go here, but yeah, maybe maybe I should actually just give it. I think I would give it. But this was messier than uh, than should have been for sure. Good evening, Skakund and uh, Angela Ross. Mm -hmm. And everyone else who is listening in the quietness. Uh, let's see now. Yeah, this this is not as clear as it as it should have been actually, but I think it's still good enough. If rook b two, I can actually push the c pawn. And rook there. Can I be very fancy now? I have a strong urge to be very. Fancy here. Does it work? I think it does work. I want to play c3 and if it takes, then play knight f3. Ah, but I can... Hmm. Yeah, I will play c3. I mean, I'm just trying to promote one of the pawns and I will happily give both knights if I can promote one of the pawns, of course. So he takes as expected. Now the idea was to go b2. And after bishop c2, I will give a fork and pick up that rook instead. But that, white has an a pawn, which is actually quite scary for me. Mm, this is not as clear as I would have liked it to be. Uh, let's see, now knight e3. Now it's probably good, because now I can block with knight d5. This, this feels very safe. I think white should have kept his king on b2. Pushed a5 and attacked the pawn with the bishop instead, because the bishop is much faster uh, at picking up the pawn. Now he cannot enter because I'm keeping uh, control of all these squares. So the pawn on b7 will uh, will live. And that is all I need to win, I think. Uh, okay, there is a5 though. It's actually... Actually there is. Okay, now I will make a decision that... Uh, I mean, one could call it lazy, but you could also call it professional, I guess, to, to eliminate uh, the only sort of risk of not winning the game. And now, it will win. It will not win very fast, but it will win eventually, all these pawns. They are too many. Too many enemy, as Jan likes to say. I mean, the point is that this pawn is very useful to have in reserve once he blocks me on the other side. But good game, uh, Subham India. It was fighting very well for sure. For sure. And, uh, and a nice start. Uh, let's see. Box 64. Ah, but I'm supposed to play. Let's see here. Let's play with. Uh, there is Batan. Casual 3 plus 2. That sounds like a nice start. Lazy professional, yeah, I mean, uh, that's, it depends on who is asking. Uh, was it lazy or was it very professional? In general, in Blitz, I, I prefer to avoid risk as long as possible. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Batan or Baton or... I guess Baton, yes, yeah, in... Not sure how it's pronounced, but he seems to maybe not be here. Hmm. What is this? The eternal problem of, uh, of players not, not showing up. I will take some water and if he's sleeping, I will play someone else. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, time to abort. Mm. Let's play with gore instead. Gore. Mm. If he is here, gore is here. So what, we finished with some uh, some gambits yesterday. Today I will play uh, equally unsound, but in a more boring way. So I will start with Alekine, uh, which I think is a pretty, pretty bad opening. Uh, but for counter-attacking purposes, it could uh, it could be interesting. This is something very old, I remember. So uh, after d takes e5, I think queen h5 is the move. Uh, is that scary? Hmm. What about knight c6 first? Mm -hmm. I guess I will play knight c6 first. Mm. But now, e yeah, maybe e6, yeah? I was getting a bit scared of e6. So e takes d6, it doesn't make so much sense to me because then the bishop on b3 looks uh, looks misplaced, in my opinion. Uh, not sure how easy it is to prove this opinion, but uh, that, that is my gut feeling at least. So how to recapture? c takes, queen takes. Let's take with the queen. The most exciting, uh, but I okay. This is three plus zero, and I'm thinking one minute on move, uh, move seven. So I'm on move six. So time to speed up a little bit. Those moves are all quite simple. Now maybe a four, a five is one plan. Makes some sense. Mm. Knight will come to e4, this was a good uh, maneuver by white. But it's still possible to play this a3 and disturb the, the chain here. I want to break it up and uh, get some, some play against the pawns. That is my goal. So now I start with knight e5. There is knight e4, um, but I'm not sure that it's the end of the world because I will move the queen and then I will hit his knight. Uh, Yeah, I, I have to abort the game myself. Uh, so, I mean, it's never entirely clear exactly when I'm supposed to abort it, but uh, it varies also from time to time. But in but in general, if it's clear that the opponent is not showing up, it's better to abort, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm not really uh, paying much attention to all of you who, who ask specifically for a game. I mean, I see your challenges. I'm accepting them randomly. Mm, I, there is not much else I'm, I can do about it. So it doesn't really help if you ask uh, numerous times. You will, uh, you will get your chance if you are lucky. And if you are unlucky, you will unfortunately not get your chance. And that's how life is. Uh... It's not a symbol, no, no. I do play symbols on leeches uh, on a semi-regular basis, actually, for various people, for various clubs and groups and so on, but today I'm playing only normal games. So, okay, so I think I will take. And now... Let's see. Where should I put my pieces? And the good thing for me is as soon as he moves the bishop, I can take the queen, mm -hmm. I thought. And then I can take on f3. And this looks quite nice for me, but on the other hand, c7 is high. Yeah, it's not so... I, I wanted something clearer than this, let's say. So I thought my position was getting very promising. Uh, what is my favorite sport apart from chess? Uh, interesting question, actually. I will get back to you soon. My favorite sport is uh, not one single one, but in general, I like to play racket sports. I'm a big fan of uh, basically all racket sports. Like, of course, I live in Denmark, in Copenhagen, Denmark. Their tennis, uh, their badminton, sorry, is very big, so I play that quite a bit. But I'm from Sweden, 
And our national sport is uh, table tennis, or at least used to be. So i big fan of table tennis as well. And of course, if you play those two, then it makes a lot of sense to play the others as well, meaning squash and tennis and paddle and all those. All those I play regularly. So def definitely big fan. Let's see now here. I actually try to promote my... I want to promote this pawn, but I'm sorry, this pawn there, but I'm not sure what to do. How to do it, like, should I go A? Now it gets a bit easier, because now the pawn is simply... I have knight C2. Yeah. That's why it's generally very useful to, to push the side pawn so early, like, this has become very popular in, in modern chess. That's because you end up in a random situation where your pawn is actually very close to queening. Uh, like like this game. I mean... Once it drops, you're basically queening immediately, so... Okay, um, well fought by Gore. Uh, let's see what else we have now. Popular Neil. He... Let's play with Popular Neil. From... He is from the country of liches, it seems. I have never seen that before. Uh, does anyone in chat know where the country of liches is geographically? Uh, last time I played King's Gambit, but frankly speaking, it's uh, not good enough. <laughs> so I will now play Scotch Gambit instead. Mm. It's located on the internet, uh -huh. <laughs> And Thank you, Ashwin. Thank you very much. My opponent proposes a take back. Okay. I did not even uh, know that it was possible to take back moves, but uh, for sure. <laughs> why Why not? He said in chat that it was his intention to take and it was a mouse slip. So why, why not to give him a take back then? Now I'm getting curious here because e5, yeah, something like e5 screams out to be played, but it also just loses a pawn, so should I do it anyway? Torpen is if I castle, maybe bishop g4 will come, and I'm s losing momentum somewhat. I feel not entirely sure, but uh... if there is some queen b3, then actually queen b3 immediately is interesting as well. Why not just go here? Mm. Mr. True Gamer, I did I did to be completely honest not know that we changed to uh seven hundred twenty. But okay I'm I'm in a hotel, so it's it's a bit up and down with the internet, so I guess makes sense. I'm sorry if there are any issues with uh, with lag or something like that. Sometimes we cannot be the master. Hmm. So popular Neil has won a pawn, which he is enjoying in his Liches country. But uh, the development for black here is uh, uh, is quite slow, and it would surprise me greatly if this position is not uh, very good for me. I mean, uh, it's it's very rare that you can survive with so little uh, so little of your army developed. Let's. I have some options. I mean, knight takes f seven is very tempting here. Uh, with some discover check, but this is also very simple and with the ID to simply go knight b6. Which is... Uh, I, somehow, for some reason, in my... Chess... I mean, in, in chess, for, for me, always, when, when the when the A-pawn is pinned, was always a, a sort of... Uh, I always fancied that theme, let's say. Many of these uh, opening tricks based on A-pawns being pinned are... I always found quite funny. And this was a case. 
Even better when it's the opponent's rook that pins, but uh, but this was good enough. Uh... So yeah, it's an exchange up, and if black would uh, would be able to play knight f6 and castle, uh, there would be some compensation with one pawn. But as the king has to move to f8 rather than castle, uh, I should I should be uh, I should be winning this relatively straightforwardly. The rook is simply not working. Hmm. Only problem. Yeah. No. So now I can play actually queen c4 to attack seven, and if knight is e5, then there is bishop h6 check, picking up the knight here with the rook, and this is because he had uh, has played g6. So now, how do we increase pressure here? He will go king h8. And I want to do something very aggressive. But what? Maybe here? Maybe here? So many options. Let's go here. I'm threatening to take the knight. So the bishop is pinned. Hmm. Knight h5 is a better move. Maybe I'll take this one. Same problem, bishop is pinned, he will be mated if he moves it. Mm. And? Place knight there, okay, let's go back. Okay, not the cleanest way to win, probably. But feels good enough. Knight f5 must be played. Now I think I will just start the trade. And yeah, it's uh... it's again. Yeah, it's, I mean now I want back the exchange and uh, everything in my position is completely fine. So uh... yeah, no back rank traps. Actually, it was mating one. I completely missed that it was mating one. This, of course, is. Is good enough. Checkmate. Thank you, popular Neil, for the game. Uh, but I think it was. Uh, I think this c5 is is way too uh, materialistic. Needs to be. Uh, need to be develop pieces with knight c6 and give the pawn back. It's too optimistic to take it back. Okay, let's see now. Let's try against Bernie. Another casual three plus two. Austria. Ah, maybe I played Bernie yesterday. Maybe we played yesterday. I'm not. In, if if that is so, then please forgive me. Uh, when I see mating one, uh, look for a better one. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. Now I see because I have a TV on, uh, in the background in my hotel room, and in Norwegian TV they are showing chess. One of the few countries that are broadcasting chess. Uh, and I just noticed that. Tari won the Armageddon. I had it on mute in the background. And uh, that means that I can switch off the TV. And congratulations to Tari. That this is nice for him after three losses to uh, finally uh, win the game. Even though if it was Armageddon. Okay, so this was maybe too fast play. Uh, too fast by me to... Hmm... I f wanted to force him to move the knight, but in the way I played, I did not actually force him. This queen e2 was a good move. Now knight will go to d4, and somehow the queen would like to go to g5, but then I'm losing time. So I, there is one trick now. If he castles, I can play queen e5. This is very, uh, very useful for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm So there, therefore d3 is a better move for sure. Now, how do I uh, confuse matters here? Can I go queen e5 anyway? Maybe I will go queen e5. Hmm. But after bishop e3, 
I think c5 is too much, and what else? Not clear to me. Maybe bishop g4 will be clear. I mean, I have to keep the initiative, but at the same time... Uh, uh, definitely not allow the trade of queens. That is uh, very important. Probably castle first. Just, just to never allow him to trade queens, basically. Uh, now I can play maybe bishop g4 next if I get the chance. Uh... Yeah, probably I will play this, and he plays f3, I will take it. Mm, let's see now. And this elephant gambit is not serving me too well, I have to admit. So I'm not uh, entirely pleased with the position I got in this game. Ah, knight takes. Knight takes I thought was scarier because I have rook e8 here. Uh, putting a lot of pressure on the e-file. But maybe knight, yeah, knight e4 can block. I would take on b2 and some uh, serious mess is occurring. Hmm. Let's see. But I think knight e4 needs to be played. This king d2 is, in my opinion, uh, it does look uh, very, very risky for, for white. Because uh, the king now will be stuck in the center for quite a while. On the other hand, he keeps all his material, so it, it, there is some logic to it. Uh, hmm. Knight bd7. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's unpleasant for white. I mean, that's also probably why my opponent is spending so much time. Because um, you can't really move the king, then I take on c3. I guess d4 is... Uh, maybe one option. f4 as well with similar IDs. It's possible, but... It looks very risky to me. Now I'm threatening knight e4, because both the pawn and the knight is, uh, is pinned. Are, are pinned. Uh, knight g4? Could be in some moment a move as well. But the, but the big question for white is what to do with the king. Yeah, king c1 I will take on c3. And uh, what else? Knight e4 is a threat. King d1 maybe is a move, but it looks very clumsy. Okay, this was played, but now knight e4. They are both pinned. And feels like this is very close to mate with queen actually not so close because king the king will go to d1 uh, ah maybe i should have taken with the uh, with the bishop and so i had the knight on c3 instead that that would have made some sense and this is maybe trickier than uh, than it ought to be of course, I can't take the rook because then I'm mated on g7. So I can play g6, but don't really want to. Mm, but what else? Okay, let's maybe do it. Because now at least I'm threatening to take the rook, and if I get the rook, then the bishop is hanging and I get a lot of uh, momentum. So, okay, bishop d2. Let's... Take it, I guess. Give a check. And knight f6. And now, so I'm just looking for ways to improve, to bring the knight. Yeah, so with little time, he did not notice that the queen was hanging. Okay, thank you for the game. Well thought. Let's now play with... Uh... Mm -hmm. I'm a kitty. Let's see. I'm a kitty from USA. Yeah, maybe queen a3 was possible as well, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I did uh, I did uh, want to free up the bishop from defending uh, g7. That's why I played g6. Hmm, let's go d5. I'm a kitty from USA. Very experienced lead chess player, it seems. So here the question is, should I play uh, h5? 
uh, as I did in the last game. <laughs> I mean, I did once yesterday this trick, but which I really like. Let's do it one more. In case you forgot, I will repeat. So let's see. So what happened was e3 and there is the surprising move e5, which wins a piece. Knight f3 is stronger and now uh, I will have to make uh, make use of this pawn somehow uh, because if if white for instance castles short later on then uh, then the pawn could be the start of an attack that at least uh, must be the ID positionally speaking for me uh, okay let's play bishop f5 Is that even a question? Yeah, no, that's, I mean, fair, fair, fair point. Uh, if h5 is even remotely possible, then surely it must be played. Uh, ah, we almost played yesterday. Ah, but then that's perfect, actually. Uh, that's perfect, then. Uh, <laughs> you were one of the guys who did not show up. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the game, Bernie. Uh -huh. Okay, let's, bishop b4 is what I would like to do, but... Queen a4 bothers me a bit. I think I need to do it. I need so I mean I need to play active chess because if I play passively, then this pawn will become a liability rather than than a strength. Uh, so here I'm just making making active moves uh, to force him to castle, for instance, short quickly, and then I will push g5. Uh, if we go to some slow positional game. Uh, then, then the pawn is simply useless on uh, on h4. So, so this is I'm sort of uh, pot committed, as they say in poker. I have to I have to keep going act active. Uh, and how do I, okay? This pawn is for sure supposed to be sacrificed. I do not believe that this pawn can be uh, can be taken. Mm. Yeah, regarding candidates, uh, I have no real uh, knowledge. Uh, of course, the, situ the situation is not uh, that pleasant, especially this uh, what Wang Hao was saying and so on. On the other hand, it's very difficult to be in Peter's position as well now. So, mm. I mean, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to be Fida at the moment uh, with this candidates mess going on. Mm, so okay, at least now this queen a5. I th I I I feel something became a little bit too solid for white. Yeah, one one or two moves were too slow. Like bishop h2, for instance. I think you can't or shouldn't afford. Uh, that that's at least my feeling. But okay, I have the <laughs> I have the problem of not being able to castle because the pawn is hanging, and that's a bit. Uh, Maybe that's actually what I need to do anyway. No, I think I will take here. Hoping for knight takes because then I can at least castle uh, without losing the pawn. But I think also the pawn can be sacrificed. That's one of the... Uh, that, that's one of the good things about this... Uh, and, like side pawns uh, advancing. That if you are somehow to lose them later on, then it doesn't matter that much because it's after all only... Only an H pawn or an A pawn, mm. and that is actually quite uh, quite an important point. Because like most endings, for instance, they are drawn even if you lack the pawn on, on the H or the A file, even because uh, let's see here. So I want my first instinct, of course, is to take, but then again, I have this problem of the pawn. So I think I will try to put pressure on the bishop, take back with the queen. Because this bishop on h2 can become good, but it can also very easily get out of play here. This, I think, will be my main uh, plan now. Okay, rook b1 I don't like so much, because now the pawn on c3 is very weak. Uh, yeah, I think I can just pick it up, right? Should I play f6? No, probably not. Let's Let's take it immediately. Mm. Let's see, knight e... Or should I actually force him to trade? Because I think the pawn on a3 will... Yeah, this now 
pick up the bishop in the in the more advantageous way, winning a pawn in the process. So this two pawns up in the rook ending is almost always one. Uh, generally, one pawn can be good in drawing chances. Two pawns basically always one. But he's playing quite fast, so I guess I should speed up a bit. But two pawns is enough for me. But fighting well. I'm a kitty. Thanks for the game. Uh, I think it was quite good for white somewhere uh, just after the opening is my guess. But uh, okay, it's always uh, difficult to say. What is... A lot of 3 plus 2 today. Uh, somehow yesterday it was more 3 plus 0. But I don't really care that much. Chess God. Let's play with Chess God. Another American. E4, uh, D5, of course I would never take with the, with the queen and play proper Scandinavian, I have never done it really, uh, but this sort of Scandinavian with two knight f6 is, is quite nice for blitz because you get very active play, again not entirely sound but uh, can definitely be, be played, mm, chess god, yeah, d3 I don't like so much, it's a bit passive. I would prefer to advance d4 in one go. Now I think I might try to stop it. Uh... Okay, bishop Okay, bishop g5 is a good move, uh, for sure. Because now either I have to weaken myself with f6, probably, I or I will have to retreat, In after which my position lacks a certain... Harmony, I guess f6, but this also is a bit ugly. Now this diagonal is weak. And... So bishop g5, excellent move. Excellent move. Uh, guess I will be looking at taking the bishop soon. If he leaves it hanging. Mm. d4, okay now. What to do? Not maybe to take, but... Because if he takes with the knight, then I can take an e3, and this pawn structure for white is terrible. But uh, let's go e4 instead, and just try to push the f pawn. How is Norway? Norway, Norway is uh, Norway is, is fine. Yeah, it's it's rainy. It's very rainy here in Stavanger. Uh, but we are mainly indoors. Hotel is great. Atmosphere of the tournament uh, is is very nice. People are. In general, enjoying themselves is my impression. So overall, I'm um, quite positive. Mm. Ah, this F4 was uh, should not have been allowed. Uh, this was a tactical mistake by uh, Chess God, because now uh, the bishop is simply trapped. Yeah, so now I win a bishop for a pawn, which almost always if nothing extreme is going on then it's always enough for, for a win uh, let's see how to finish off quickly I think I will go for a direct attack either bishop there or bishop g4 bishop f3 uh, I mean even even let's say without the knight on c6 or something like that it would still probably be very uh, attractive for for black because the king, the white king is so weak. Mm. Yes, I should probably move the, the rook. So if I, I mean, my, my big plan is to plant the bishop on f3. That's how I will try to win the game. Mm. And then give checkmate on g2. Mm. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, yeah, now threatening queen f3, queen h3, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, king h2, he's defending as well as as one can defend in such a position, but uh, 
yeah, now the extra bishop will will come into play, and it's uh, it's definitely yeah, it's uh, after bishop f4. You can't take it because queen g2 mate, and also the pawn is pinned, so I'm threatening to take. But what did I do? Ay ay ay! I just blundered my bishop. Ay ay ay! Ay 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 ay! Oof. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, to answer Bernie's question, I mean, to remove focus from what I did. Uh, th definitely, there is big point in, in studying endgames, and I'm I'm studying endgames uh, regularly. Uh, and a very good example, best little helper, this game uh, yesterday in OHS between Aronian and uh, Duda. It was a good case in point. It was an endgame where they both made a lot of mistakes. Uh, and I had a, I had a look actually at the ending. It was it was very interesting uh, with the uh, rook and uh, one rook each and one pawn each. Mm, and it it was quite subtle and many fine points. Tactical sacrifice. It was definitely not <laughs> a sacrifice. <laughs> Bishop is hanging. Yeah. Ay ay ay. Tactical sacrifice. I I mean I I adore the faith, but uh, yeah, can't say that it's true. Maybe I need to bring this knight into the game. This knight that I was complaining, or that I was claiming did not really help me. I could do without it, but now I really need it. Hmm. What is this? I'm pawn. I'm a pawn down. I think I have enough compensation, but of course we <laughs> would have been uh, better with the bishop as well. Uh, queen. Okay. Let's see now. Okay. Queen c2. But now rook d2 comes. Rook d2. I think is the only move. You have to cover the second rank. If f2 drops, then then really it's mate. Mm. Yeah, this is a blunder. I think he missed that F2 is hanging and now checkmate is, is incoming very soon. Not sure what the fastest way is, but this is uh, this is good enough. Winning, he has to sacrifice the queen and then the game should be over. Mm. Rook h7 will be mate next move. So thank you, chess god, for the game. Yeah, I was trying to look for rook takes h2. I, I'm not sure. Ah, here, actually, here it works. Yeah, takes takes, and I take an e1. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Good spot by panda bears. Yes. Twenty eight. Ah, twenty. Oh, actually, yeah. Also here, here it's not as good because he's actually still very solid after losing the pawn, but uh, still probably uh, the best move. Yeah. Nice to see. Unlimited. No, unlimited is a bit uh, much. Badger boy. Let's try. Badger boy. Mr. True Gamer. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the game. <laughs> uh, it was definitely uh, got more exciting than maybe it should have been there for a while. Uh, so, Badger boy from the Netherlands. I haven't played anyone from the Netherlands in uh, quite a while. What's up with my own uh, stream? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not streaming so much. I'm, I'm simply uh, running out of time. I have so many other things to do uh, that uh, it's difficult to find time for my own streaming. Uh, but at some point it will... Uh, I hope it will be back at least. F4 normally is not played so early because uh, normally you start queen d2. Due to some tactical operations that maybe I will get a chance to show here. Uh... So if bishop h4, then I have two moves. I have bishop e7, which threatens some knight takes e4 tactics. So I also have queen b6. So he takes an f6, which makes sense. 
to avoid the tactics, but generally you should be very careful when giving up the, the dark squared bishop as white in these lines. Uh, now, yeah, the pawn on f4 could become weak, but mainly that the long term. In the long term, the two bishops can become very, very strong. Like, for instance, world champion Carlsen showed yesterday in his game against Tari. Mm, so, let's see. What? I think, I mean, knight db5 is tempting, but I think I can just go back and then kick the knight. Otherwise, maybe bishop b5 is a move. Uh, yeah, knight b5 played, it's, it's the most natural move, but... I will kick him back next, so it's not scary for me. Mm. And now you can't castle short with white. So the queen is covering. And on the queen side it will be a bit scary to castle because I have an open B line. Or B file. And it's not so easy to protect B2. Maybe b3. Hmm. B3 is, is weakening a lot though. I mean, yeah, queen d3. Something like queen d3 actually makes sense. Uh, giving up the pawn just to be able to develop. So rook b1 or even, even short castle is possible. Yeah, so I give a check. Now, I'm slightly behind in development, actually. Now, this was a good try by white, giving up this pawn. Here, I'm... Uh, I mean, things can go wrong for black. So, definitely, practically speaking, uh, very decent try. F5, I'm not so sure, because now the bishop will become very strong in E5. Uh, but, okay, white needs to do something, of course. Hmm... How often do I accept challenges? I mean, I accept them uh, after each game. It's finished. Uh, it's difficult to say what else to do. Okay, so this is tricky as well, because now there is some pin. So for instance, yeah, how do I even... Hmm... I mean, I want to play rook e8, but there will be some takes, and then some knight d5 in the end, which is, so rook e8, takes, 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 and knight d5. The queen is hanging. I also have to do something about the pawn, because it's hanging as well. So this is a move, but it's very, very strange. It cannot be a good move. But I have to make... I have to make one move, yeah, it is... It's... But what? So confused. Take? Also feels weird. It's... Okay, I will... T no, but now knight d5 comes immediately. Oof. Yeah, this was definitely not... What I should have done. Still! No, but now c6 is hanging. Uh, long, long think, wrong think, as they say. Uh, yeah, exactly. D five didn't work due to the pin. Uh, that was uh, that was one of the main problems. Uh, but this also didn't work due to many reasons. So this, yeah, puzzling why I puzzling why I went for this. Mm. So what what to do now? What to do now? Let's go here. If it takes, I hope I can take on a2, otherwise I'm in really some... Uh... The f-file rook also looks like a monster. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, <laughs> referring to my comment that the bishop was a monster. The bishop got traded off, but the rook is now very active. That is entirely correct. I stand corrected by what I said. It was turned out to be completely wrong. But, in my defense, I would like to add that it was probably due to my play not being the best either. So now I didn't really calculate. I thought this doesn't work because of queen e1, but actually 
maybe it did work. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Mm. And again, it, I have a rook ending with two extra pawns, which normally speaking should be enough. And if we trade one rook, it becomes easier. If we don't, then basically I will just push the pawn and at some point it will become a queen. A very simple plan here. Yes. Yeah, bishop takes c3 was possible, but uh, I did not want to give up this bishop there because I had praised it so much. I was enjoying my bishop so much. Let's see, should I play against someone a little bit? From wh wh where are these guys all from? I think I will play some 3 plus 0 now. Lake of Krakus, another one from Liches. Let's play. Lake of Krakus. Mm -hmm, good luck. Which uh, which opening was it? Ah, the the Sicilian there. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Okay, e3. I play the Budapest Gambit, but I am rarely allowed to actually sacrifice the pawn. Now we go to actually exchange French instead, which is considered. Let's see, how to put it. Yeah, a bit less fun than than the Budapest Gambit. Let's say. At least white has played c4, which makes it slightly more interesting. It's still not not the funniest of openings to play. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just castle, see what happens. Give a check. Now if bishop e2, my point is that I can take on c4 because bishop is pinned. So I think I'm picking up a pawn. Should be a good start. Then with the pawn up, I'm my general plan will be to trade pieces. Mm. Mm, bishop. So the distance between the knight and the bishop is is. Two, but it's four moves for the knight to hit my bishop. That's why I enjoy building the bishop here very much. Uh, it will be quite difficult for him to get rid of. That's always very nice. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to activate the queen and the rook on... Uh, rook on a8. But what I'm thinking about is I don't want to move my knight because then the knight will jump to e5, which is a bit unpleasant. What I would like to play is knight e4, but then maybe the pawn on c4 is hanging due to... For tactical reasons hanging, I mean. So probably I need to move the knight just to prepare knight e4. So he will now jump here. And I will somehow have to kick his knight uh, out with f6. Mm. So move, my idea was to go here and play f6. Now I'm thinking is it's maybe more solid to go here. Maybe it is. So I, th I think actually knight takes e5 is quite good for me as well. Because then I get queen g5 and bishop becomes maybe even stronger than it is now. Uh, in general also I'm not in a hurry to take. I can go queen g5 immediately actually. If I think that the world... The candidate tournament and world championship... Uh, would be less draws if they play 960. This is very difficult to me for me to say. I'm not uh, that into 960 statistics and so on. But my guess is that there would be less draws, yeah, because simply the quality would be would be lower. Uh, one of the main reasons for the for the number of draws is that the quality of play is so high. So. 
but I think also they have some suggestions of increasing the, the number of games in the World Championship match. And that will also give less draws because it will give uh, some freedom for the players to uh, take risks and so on because they know that they have enough games to win back what might be lost after taking some risks. So I think that that's a very simple way of, of uh, solving it. Just, uh, just uh, increase the number of games. And decrease the number of rest days, of course, in the same go, so we don't lose time. Mm. I want to take here. But then F3 and I will be trapped, but I, then I want to sacrifice. But whoosh. The other hand, this is also very nice, just keeping everything protected. Heh. <laughs> Libra's Revolt. <laughs> Just 24 stream stars playing on Liches lately. Why? Uh, <laughs> are you considering me me one of them? Uh, if, if so, then I'm honored. Uh, well, I think we all like Liches because Liches is an excellent site to play on. So that's already a good start. Uh, and I think me and many others, we are we are doing stuff on, on, on various sites. Why Why limit yourself to one? More f more chess is more fun. As simple as that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, c6 is very... I mean, he has to completely block this isolated pawn. And now I feel that I'm allowed to do some active moves because now I have complete stability. So now I will probably... Okay, first f6 to bring the king and then enter with the rook. Maybe take here actually. Now I'm intending some checkmating patterns there. Let's see. Yeah, time runs out, but the position is is very tough as well, of course. Uh... Mm. Okay, let's see the next one. I will play a fellow Swede actually in one game now. Elias, Elias, he's challenging me to a rated three plus two game. Let's go. Mm. And thank you, Tony Screw. I'm uh, happy that it's appreciated. The tallest, uh, tallest top player. I think the the Serbian grandmaster Alexander Indic is one of the tallest grandmasters in the world. He could definitely be uh, be the tallest. Otherwise, of course, the Dane, the great Dane Petar Heine Nielsen, is very tall as well. Mm. The best time control to challenge at, I would say, is uh, not more than not more than three plus two, three plus zero probably, most likely, but also less. One plus one, one plus zero, two plus zero, anything. Just the only thing is that uh, it should not be too long. So yeah, I mean, uh, Black, what he did here, Elias, is a little bit uh, dubious. Uh, from a principal perspective, because if you play c6, b5 and take a pawn here, then normally you need your bishop on b7 to defend all the weaknesses. But uh, now he gave up his bishop on f3, which uh, means that the queen side might be uh, might be very vulnerable, or or is very vulnerable. I can I can dare to say. Uh, once it's thing starts to get open, mm, yeah. Then, for instance, if this bishop becomes alive on the long diagonal, then it's a disaster. Uh, if it takes here, then I take with the queen. Yeah, see if I played. It's it's an attempt to keep things closed, which uh, I have a lot of sympathy for. But I do win back a key pawn for free. So yeah, position is now the position is quite unpleasant for Black. I think. This might be a tactical mistake. So now queen d5 next will will hit the rook. Mm. Let's see here. What do I think about the time control in Norway chess? I mean, in general, I'm all for uh, for trying various things, and uh, well, let let's try it and then let's evaluate. Yeah. 
Uh, I have nothing against it. It's uh, it's a fun. It seems fun so far. It's quite different. It's because uh, they are playing with two hours for forty moves and then ten seconds increment, which is very little actually, ten seconds. So they are starting. They are playing sort of rapid after move forty, which yeah, it's interesting. I uh, I quite like it so far, but. It's of course very very different from a normal classical game. That is that is clear. So in general, uh, people, you don't need to ask uh, for games. I pick my my challenges randomly from the list, and that is no, whether you asked or not. So it doesn't help to ask. Jelly Smith, why do I go to endgame? I wanted to checkmate with Queen. Well, uh, I mean, this looked like a very safe way to uh, to do it. Mm, and in general, safety first in Blitz for me. Good rule. Let's see here. I will now play... I was thinking to play some... A Pupitas is challenging to 1 plus 1. Just let's have a 1, one plus 1... Uh, uh, for a change, a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. Oh, this I have not seen in a long time. Let's go here. One of us will get an isolated pawn. The big question is, is who? Now do I take or do I advance? Let's advance because I can push B4 immediately. Mm, continue to push or play bishop b5 let's play bishop b5 this looks uh, looks simple enough now take ah he takes this is interesting i will take with d yeah, because this structure was uh, played by alireza yesterday in uh, in the armageddon which he won and i'm always on on the winner's side so uh... yeah okay the point is i mean of course i want to push if I can push the pawns, then I will do very, very well. Should I go a4 immediately? Should I... Probably... But a4, the problem is the bishop moves. Then c5 is hanging. Okay, let's go knight e2. I should also not spend too much time. I mean... This is, after all, uh, a bullet game, so... Let's be a little bit careful about time. Shall we? And this this is also quite risky to to take on b5 but uh, i decided that i have some pressure here mm, i don't have a lot of time actually and mm, but i do like my position i have nice pressure is my impression h5 h6 for instance will be coming maybe rook rook lift could become very scary for black as well I think actually rook e3 will be my next move if he doesn't do anything. Which he does, but now e6 is weak, so now the plan change. Now the plan is to attack the weakness on e6. Mm. But I need to speed up again. Pawn is hanging. Yes. Let's collect. Mm. What is my feeder rating? It's... Uh... I don't actually... 26, 60 something, I think. Uh, now push, push. Maybe take first and then push. Push first. This one second increment is very nice in bullet. Otherwise, I would have gotten flagged here a long time ago. Now, I feel confident in my chances. Very confident. Just push. Mm. Oh, thank you for the game, Pupitas. But this was tough. This was a tough bullet game. Uh. Okay, let's see. But yeah, no, no rematches. We have to give uh, new people the chance. And let's uh, play... Uh, See what is this? 
Player from UK. I have not played anyone from UK. My Zeit not. Zeit not means lack of time, yeah? Time trouble. And that that feels uh, feels like a good way to play. A good nickname to play after such a bullet game. Let's see. Mm. How long have I been a grandmaster? I've been a grandmaster for 10 years, actually. Someone mentioned uh, to me a couple of days or weeks ago that it was my anniversary for, for my grandmaster title, which I had completely forgotten, of course. Uh... <laughs> What's my advice on getting back motivation to play chess seriously? Uh... Yeah, this is a tough question that many of the professional chess players struggles with uh, daily nowadays during the pandemic. And uh, yeah, well, it's 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 different for for different people. Uh, what I did was that I took uh, I, I basically took a break from working uh, seriously on on my chess uh, for like a month, a month and a half, or something like that. But then, uh, after a while, I started to miss it and I started to, to work seriously again. It just sort of happened naturally. I think not, uh, not trying to push it is, uh, is very important. It should come naturally, if, uh, if preferably. So this... Um, um, Giving white this square space with uh, with f3, g4, g5, h4 is sometimes okay for black. It is not that uncommon that it's okay. But here uh, it's a bit too passive, I think, uh, especially on the queen side, because you need some counterplay, c5, knight, c6, for instance, or maybe take and play e5 in some moment. Something to get the counterplay, because now if I am in time, I will play knight f4 and pick up the bishop on g6. Forcing f takes g6, which is a pretty horrible structure for black. So, uh, yeah, I, I think this is a bit too passive. Mm. Best advice to improve for players rated 1000. I think uh, playing a lot of games is what is my eternal answer to the question of improvement, especially on slightly lower levels. Play a lot of games. Try to focus on them. If uh, if you have the time and energy, I mean, check them quickly. Maybe to see what you missed, the main things you missed uh, with an engine, for instance. And then uh, just keep going. Just getting 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 the the games in is is the most important thing in the beginning. Think I think it's generally said that you you improve the first ten thousand times you do something you improve naturally and I think that in my experience uh, works very well for chess as well. Mm. So like you will improve by, on, on the ten thousand first games you play. Then after that, if you are if you stop to improve, then you have to think about other ways. Same games, but only faster. That's a good one, yeah. But uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not such a big fan. I have to say. Uh, so okay, bishop takes g6 is my next, and then queen takes h5 and checkmate. That is the the general plan. If I if I can. Uh, don't play, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, that's, this is actually an important uh, point. Tony Screws uh, mentions that I uh, that I forgot. I mean, it's it's a very good uh, idea to play slightly longer games. Like five minutes is fine. Ten minutes, I think, is even better if you can play ten minutes each, uh, with or without increment. Then uh, I think you will improve much more than if you play bullet or, or blitz. Mm, I will definitely play more bullet uh, from time to time, but currently I don't have that many challenges uh, from bullet. I have a few, but we will see. Ah, Ukrainian player, let's see, but it's provisional rating. 
in general I am uh, more more uh, inclined to play people without provisional rating. Mm -hmm. Ellen Nielsen is rating. Thank you very much, Ellen. Ellen is another big fan of leeches, I know. You should definitely check out Ellen's streams if you haven't already. She is streaming a lot. And she's streaming a lot of Bullet, I think, as well. Mm, and welcome all the new viewers. We are playing uh, games. I'm picking uh, challenges randomly after each game and try to give uh, as many as possible a chance. Mm, now I'm playing Bill. If I'm not mistaken, he is from uh, New Zealand. Yeah, I met. I've actually met my opponent uh, in real life in some tournaments in uh, in Reykjavik, for instance. Mm. But that was a few years ago, so it's nice to see that Bill is still playing chess. Always happy to see people playing chess. Mm. Is that a wig? <laughs> What do you mean? Mm, let's see, bishop b7. What is best? Ellen's chess or cookie? I don't know. John McKay Clay, 90 games in Blitz and 10k in Bullet. Okay, that's uh, that's a fair point. If that is so, then then definitely uh, he is uh, worth a game. 10k bullet. That's uh, way more than I have. I hope. Uh, yeah. So I'm. I mean, I'm trying to find the right moment to get this d5 break in because if I get d5, I will be able to develop my bishop to d6 in one move, and if he were to take, I will take with a knight, and try to eliminate the the dark squared bishop. And if the dark squared bishop would uh, would disappear, then then the dark squares in white's position are re really really weak. Mm. Svidla didn't know that the gopo is an opening. That is incredible lack of knowledge actually from Sweda's part. But the opening was, I think, invented in Sweden, and he is not from Sweden, and I am, so I shouldn't be too harsh on uh, on Peter. It's Maybe understandable that he that he missed this vital part of chess education. Mm. But I could have played the Gopo, yeah. But I'm a little bit unsure uh, how it even starts. I played it as a kid, but not that much and never with great success. So now I can take the bishop, which I sort of uh, promised to do. But uh, mm, I can also wait one move and see if I can find a better moment to take it. Mm. Maybe h5, h4. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm expecting my opponent to play Bill here to play g3. Then I will play h5, h4. Uh, he plays bishop d3. This is not the move I expected because I thought I will take here and it's very scary for white. Bishop g3 and now bring the queen to the h file. Should be it, I thought, but now I am getting a little bit confused because if I go queen d8, maybe there is a move like knight f5. If I were to take the knight, then bishop g5 will be a discovered attack on my queen, which would uh, actually be a disaster. Mm, so what else? I can play queen e5 instead. Then he plays f4. Uh, what do I do then? Yeah, then I need to get my queen. Maybe que ah, then queen f6 maybe makes more sense. Hmm. There should be a forced win here for me. I'm almost... I mean, I'm, I'm, I would be very surprised if there is no forced win. I can't find it, so I will just... But this is sad as well to take, yeah? Okay, I will take. If queen takes, I will play bishop f4, pick up the rook and win... Uh, Win slowly, but it's not uh, it's not really the the way to do it. Now I'm threatening Queen H5, but and also threatening the knight. So I, I will win a piece, but um, but yeah, I I was 
if I missed a mate in four or something like that, I'm I'm not that happy with uh, taking a piece. Mm. So what else? Uh, let's see. I I think giving yeah giving up for uh, the pawn on h two was uh, was too brave. Let's say uh, after this the king is is way too weak. This should be. Should be completely win. I think I'm, yeah, I will just pick up the knight and then win it slowly instead. Mm. Knight f5 is a good try. I mean, I, uh, I definitely uh, approve of, of trying to complicate matters, but there is simply not enough compensation. I have many, many ways to do this, but uh, I think this is simple enough. Why make it more complicated than it is? Good evening, Arcudipto. How are you? Mm, if it takes, I will recapture with the bishop, uh, the, uh, saving my bishop, and yeah, it, it's a clear piece. So, okay, thank you, Bill, for the game. Well fought. Uh, let's now see. Uh, what is this? North Korea. That doesn't sound very trustworthy, but let's try anyway. Mm, can it really be that my opponent is from uh, North Korea? Could be. And how I have a very limited knowledge of how they play, what kind of chess they play in, in North Korea. What is typical North Korean style? Open Sicilian it seems to be. Mm -hmm. mm, D Kim from North Korea. <laughs> I, 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 this then this will be very exciting and bishop d3 yeah so they are actually up to date uh, uh, with the latest fashions or maybe one year behind <laughs> yeah one what was it yeah a bit more one and a half years behind they are in, uh, in, in opening fashion in north korea but that's uh, not as bad as i was afraid it would be uh... There is no order, no, in which I take challenges, no, no. It's completely random. Kim has never lost a game. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so maybe, yeah, maybe I did not do this in the cleanest fashion, because now he might go bishop h6. I will try to save my bishop, because I really enjoy the dragon bishop. But... Mm. It's not that clear at all. I think white is maybe even slightly better here. Uh, h3 played. Let's go rook b8. I mean, forcing some b3 after which I can put some pressure at least, like queen a5 and so on. Uh, he plays rook b1. And I think it's more. It's a healthier choice than than b3. Not weakening, but. Uh, Okay, I'm not I'm not better, but I also don't believe I'm worse anymore. It looks quite pleasant. Mm. No, I mean my brain is immediately thinking, why not give an exchange? But I think it's completely unnecessary. Would be a bit fun, but I think this is much better. Now I will take on B2 without actually having to sacrifice uh, anything. If I see everything correctly, this actually just wins a pawn. Or in fact, more than a pawn. This uh, He needed to, to address the, the potential threat against knight on c3 earlier on. And Hushenbet is raiding. Thank you very much, Niklas Hushenbet. Strong uh, German Grandmaster. Whom I recently met actually in uh, Spain, in the Spanish team championship. Mm. Pretty alpaca, thank you very much. I am happy to hear that you enjoy it. So let's take on beat. Yeah, now I'm a piece up, so this should be fairly trivial to win. Uh. Mm. Because my king is also completely safe, I don't really have any weaknesses, so th there is no reason why. Why this shouldn't be very, very, very good for me. So, okay, c5, I guess. Oh, only bishop takes h7 check when the queen is hanging, but it's very far-fetched. Very far-fetched, so... 
Hi, actually, uh, <laughs> Hushan Bet immediately points out the tactical mistake for me. You are entirely correct. I could have picked up two rooks instead of one. That probably should have been uh, seen. No. The thing is, when you see that you can win one piece, you're really looking to take two. Mm. And here I have I have enough material to uh, to clinch the game. I'm fairly sure. It's only thing if I'm somehow able to blunder my queen. Mm. C four. Okay, now my idea was actually to take here. To if when he recaptures, I will pick up the rook here instead. So. Yeah, okay, thank you for the game, uh, Kim Jong <laughs> from North Korea. This was a big fight. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. 2 plus 0. What is 2 plus 0? That is a bit. Let's play a Portuguese. 2 plus. No, he disappeared. What is going on? Why is a bot challenging me? That makes no sense. Uh, what is this? Ah, there, where is it? Here is it. Mm -hmm. Boyu, Boyu, 1357. Mm. Ah, Bill is in the chat as well. <laughs> yeah, that is, I mean, I think especially in Blitz, it's very important you play not what is considered the best, but what you know the best. And if you have a pet line, then it's excellent to use it in Blitz. Uh, there is no reason to avoid uh, your uh, your pet lines. Even if they are maybe even slightly unsound. It could be a, uh, a good try in these shorter time controls. Yeah, Queen E2 I should probably not have allowed. Did not really... Uh, want to go to the ending? Okay, knight e4 is there still, but ah, this is two plus zero rated. I forgot. Uh, after playing three plus two, suddenly two plus zero is uh, it's actually quite fast. I should speed up a little bit. Uh, very important to remember. Okay, so I'm hoping that uh, he will castle sh long. I was, uh, was about to say I'm hope I am hoping that he will castle uh, short because then the game will be slow. Now the game will actually be quite sharp. Uh, probably quite good for me, but still very possible to misplay this. Should I keep collecting? Probably not. I should stop the sacrifice here. Mm. <laughs> Matthias Borito. Yeah, no, but really, I, I was really confused. Why, why would the bot want to play with me? I mean, don't they have better things to do with the bots than to play with me? Hmm. What is going on here? Okay, let's take. He wants to take here, maybe. I think I can take on b3. Looks... Looks very solid. Mm. So what to do? d5 is hanging or is it? Probably not. Or is it? Maybe it is. Let's defend. Just in case. Hmm. Okay, I will I will make some Luft for my king. And then try to find some uh, some things to attack. Now I will attack the pawn on g4. Hmm. Yeah, now also this the taking the pawn on g4 not only we, uh, nets me a pawn, but it also makes my, my king even safer than before. So now there is never any push with g4, g5, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm very optimistic about my chances here. Mm. This looks... Uh, looks good enough. This is a bit slow, actually, to try to take the pawn on a4, but... Mm. Yeah, the, the thing is, with such a safe king, uh, there are, it's almost impossible for things to go wrong. Uh, 
I see a lot of uh, questions about my moves and uh, I th I'm fairly sure that most of you are right on most of the points you're trying to make. Uh, and the reason I'm not doing them is that I'm simply missing it. Mm, okay, let's see here. Who else do we have? After so many raids, why not play someone called Raiden? From Turkey. And also a patron, I see. Let's see. Angela Ross, you are, you are most probably not missing anything. Uh, I, am, I am the one missing stuff. <laughs> uh, this is one of my favorite structures with black, when you have these four pawns in front of your king. It's very, very solid. Uh, it's very hard for... Uh, uh, for white to uh, to give mate here, uh, so def definitely a big fan of this structure. Only question is, for white, I mean the qu the question for white is uh, on which side to castle. Now it looks like white is intending to castle long, but I'm not that afraid of long castle to be completely honest. Uh, okay, I will push here. Mm, and thank you very well, no, much, white dancing rock stars, for the sub. I think it's very nice that we get together and uh, support leeches for their excellent work. It's, it is uh, really an excellent site, I have to say. I enjoy playing there. Hmm. So let's see. Uh, he pushes. Normally, when I play this line, I push h5 with black. That is what usually happens. Uh, maybe I should actually have played h5 against h4 when it came. But I simply thought that when white is castling long, mm, I might as well keep my pawns close to my king. And uh, now this pawn is dropping off. I can take it. it. Makes some sense. He's opening up the g file, but th here comes the thing with this line what I like. That he has an open file with g6, but the point is that I have an additional pawn on, on f7 because I have four pawns instead of three, which you normally have with black. So my king is, I think, very, very safe still, uh, which is uh, which makes it so much easier to play in, in, in a practical game. Mm. Now the pawn, but now actually at some point I need to address the, and I'm saying that I'm so safe, but uh, <laughs> it could also be famous last words for me. Knight f5, for instance, looks a little bit uh, dangerous now. Actually, last move, maybe I should just have given an exchange to be completely safe. Okay, now I will trade queens at least, that's... Uh, that's a relief, because now, then I will for sure not be mated. Mm. Hmm. I wanted to go here, he would go bishop e4, and then I would need to sacrifice, but it's probably unnecessary. Let's go here, try to pick up this pawn next. Play it safe, play it boringly. Hmm. Now bishop d5 next. Bishop takes c6, but I can just take it, no? I don't really get it now. Uh... But it's okay. He enters with the rook, but it's still just, just a piece, right? Looks like it's just a piece. Now I will even enter with my rook. Yeah, this 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 is just a piece. It's definitely uh, uh, definitely winning. Yeah, now it's two pieces. Hmm. 
Okay, thank you for the game, Raiden. And thank you for everyone who raided today as well. While we are at it. Mm. What to play? Who to play? And there is this bot again. <laughs> Completely strange. Uh, Ovo Ovo is challenging to a bullet. Let's play one bullet with Ovo Ovo. That's quite a strange uh, nickname. Let's play Elephant Gambit if I'm allowed. Not allowed, okay. Where is Ovo Ovo from? No country. Okay. Mm, can I take? 94, ay ay ay. 94 was a major miss by me. Uh, let's play the... F I th I'm sacrificing this pawn because I think I will enter with the queen if he takes it. Play like queen f7. Yeah, he doesn't dare to take, but now I can play bishop e3. Yeah, Proxin, you did not play so uh, badly. It was an interesting fight. Mm. And checkmate, Ovo Ovo. Thanks for the game. But this, yeah, bullet is exhausting. <laughs> And I like it, all the bullet players, they are always uh, just out of instinct, pressing rematch immediately, but uh, yeah, there will be no, no rematches uh, today, of course. Uh, Leon Beast, let's try one game with Leon Beast. Mm. Yeah, bishop takes f2 works uh, well, but that's how it works in chess sometimes. You make a blunder and when your opponent doesn't make use of it, then it's a great move. Kramadog, looking down a lot. Yeah, we discussed this actually yesterday that, uh, uh, or I mentioned that, okay, I'm, I'm looking down a lot, but it's not because uh, I have nervous tics or not because I'm playing with a touchpad or anything like that. Uh, it's because I'm simply reading the chat on, on my phone because I only have one screen as I'm uh, traveling currently. I'm in, in Norway in a hotel room rather than home. Leon Beast does not seem to be here, unfortunately. Uh... Okay. Pity. I will have to pick someone else. Let's pick the top one on the list. I'm not sure if they come like uh, if it was the first one who challenged me. Or if it's randomly created the list. But as long as my opponents are here, it's fine. Geneza. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Chromadog, no, I, I, I understood that you were joking. I just <laughs> thought it would be fun to mention it anyway. Mm. Polku, 0 plus 2. I did not even know that it was a possible time control to play. I played one game yesterday of this uh, half a minute game, but it, uh, it's so fast. Yeah, it's, I'm way too slow for that. But then again, I'm also getting flagged in 3 plus 0, which is a bit annoying. So probably I should work on my uh, hyper bullet. Mm, so yeah, my positional aim here is because he has bishop and knight, I have two bishops. So then it's very often about getting uh, making the bishop that of the color that your opponent doesn't have. So like my dark squared bishop, because my opponent doesn't have a dark squared bishop. So for me, the strategic goal is to make this bishop uh, very strong. And that's why I'm trying to open up this diagonal for it. That is uh, that is at least how it's supposed to be working in uh, in theory. Then if I manage to achieve it, of course a different story, but that should be the idea at least. Uh... 
Mm -hmm. Bishop B. Now maybe he will play B5, but don't think it, it scares me that much. I can just move my bishop. By Luf, okay, it's just something you you sort of know. Yeah, it's it's common uh, common knowledge. In general, I I rarely remember where I was first uh, taught various, uh, so to speak, rules in chess. You just sort of pick them up bit by bit. Now I'm very happy if I get one more move and play d3 to secure my bishop. But if he starts to attack it, I'm not sure if I'm in time to run away. Can't really see where to go. So I, um, very natural after knight e4 is to go bishop b2, but then knight c6. And if d3, then maybe knight takes b4 is possible even. Is it? Ah, is it? Hmm, yeah, maybe it is. If it is, then it's a bit unpleasant. I think I will have to play it safe and go here. Play d3 next, but now he's in time to, to take uh, on d4. Mm. The a6 I think is is dubious because now I'm I'm I can save my bishop. Uh, and if I save my bishop, then I will be be uh, clearly better. I think from positional perspective. Uh, knight c6 now will be just be met by bishop c5. I think. Right, even bishop c3 makes a lot of sense just to put it on a very safe square. Not sure. Okay, let's go to c5. Um, play king e2, rook h c1. e5 is possible, but I don't think it, it particularly helps, uh, helps black here. I can just play h3 to stop bishop g4. I think what black should be trying to do, yeah, exactly, bishop e8. This is an excellent move by Janeza. Uh, the point is to go knight d7 later and uh, and hit my bishop. And if my bishop gets hit, then if I have to move it, then the pawn on b4 is hanging as well. So this, this was a good move, definitely. Uh, how do I fight it? It was a good move, but it wasn't so good that it's not possible to fight against it. I refuse to believe that. H3, very slow. Knight d7, I go bishop d6. And as far as I could see, there were no discovered attacks that made any real sense. Knight b6, for instance, bishop c7. Hitting both the knight and the rook, so... Uh, yeah. Mm. This, I think, is just a piece on pre. Yeah, happens sometimes to all of us. Thanks you for the game. It was a good fight, anyway. John McLean. Ah, we mentioned John McLean. We mentioned that he did not have that many bullet games. Now, not not many blitz games, but ten thousand bullet games. So I'm a bit curious why he didn't challenge me on a, to a bullet game. But let's play London to please the audience. I know that you are all looking for boring Londons. Rather than something unsound and unhealthy. We have to think of, um, of the health in these challenging times. Let's see. Is it possible to play h4 in the London? Push h5. This is what I'm trying to, to think now. I guess I need to do it. But bishop g4, will, it's, it's really not a very good move, I think. But it's a very tempting move. Maybe this this one is possible as well. Hmm, g five, h six. Hmm. Yeah. No. Let's go h three first. Hmm. Maybe e four, e five is the way. Not sure. La <laughs> London. Yeah. <laughs> I lost lost half of the viewers immediately when I the bishop appeared on f four. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Mm. And let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if I get the chance, I will definitely push e4, then I will push all the pawns. 
that could become uh, quite bad for for John McLean from Ukraine. Ten thousand guild playing games. What is this rabbit? Rapid eighty eighty rabbit. They're uh, rapid games. Uh, it's quite a lot. Not rabbit games. Mm. What was the reason I'm traveling? Yeah, it's uh, I'm traveling because I'm I'm going to do commentary for NoHS for uh, Norwegian TV. It's mentioned in the start. Uh, and I will actually be there physically, or I am here uh, doing it. <laughs> Eighty rabbit games, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, okay, so I played d5, yeah, now I, I try to uh, push all my pawns and hope that it leads to something good. This square looks juicy, I will try to get my knight there, I think. Mm. If I get knight c6, then I will also be able to get knight b7, I, I think it, it will sort of start to collapse. Yeah, knight c5 is maybe necessary, but okay, b4, knight c6. Will come. I, actually, yeah, the knight is trapped because this square was not available. Uh... Okay, g5 played. But now it's a piece, so now, now it should be relatively straightforward. Guns blazing. No, I, I definitely agree with you. I, I'm saying it tongue-in-cheek. I have nothing against London, I think it's it's quite viable. Uh, and even, I mean, the world champion is playing it uh, on a very regular basis, so... That in itself is is a good enough sign of the of the quality of the opening. Uh, but we also like to make fun of various openings. It's a bit similar to the French. Everyone loves to bash the French, but in reality it's a perfectly decent opening, I think. Uh, true for ICC, that is because, well, because I'm on the Lichia's channel instead. <laughs> uh, that, that is basically the reason. Uh, can't be at two places at once. Or maybe you can nowadays, I'm actually not sure how it works. Mm. Chess King Kong, being in Norway is better than being in Sweden. I don't know. I, I like both countries. Both are excellent to be in. Uh, let's see. Pirate. Let's see. Radius Chachi, I played against uh, last time. Let's play against uh, Miniund. This und, second part of the game, after mini, it means evil in Swedish, actually. Or in Scandinavian languages. Uh, so, a little evil would be the translation of my opponent's nick. I hope it's not the same in Russian, because then I'm getting scared. Ah, uh, rated. I just noticed we are playing rated. My opponent... Russians generally know knows their theory, right? I mean, he seems to be. Uh... He seems to know this stuff now. Maybe Bishop D three will be coming. That's very unpleasant. Okay, take and play F six and hope for the best. I guess Bishop D three. Just take and hope, hope that I will survive. Uh... Let's see about that. Yeah, he takes. That that makes more sense, probably. It's trying to actually win a pawn rather than trade pawns. This is actually quite unpleasant. Okay, queen takes. Bishop d3, I still need to take. Rook d1. Mm, what is this now? Knight e7 is a move, but it's not a move that I particularly... Ah, h5. Ah, yeah, yeah. Maybe this is the way. Bishop d3, I have queen h6 to protect the pawn. Not sure if this is standard at all, but... Uh, but it makes a lot of sense to me now when I see it. Uh... 
Mm, let's see what to do. Maybe Queen H6 anyway. I mean, I have some ideas of this rook being hanging in some, like, let's say, uh, Queen B3, I can take, sorry, Queen B3, I can take here, here, and here. And he can't take with the rook because suddenly the rook on C1 is hanging. So I have some some tactical ideas with the, with putting the queen on H6. Uh, let's see here. And in general, yeah, it, it's similar to what I was talking about uh, earlier today, that if I have a dark squared bishop and he doesn't, then I in general like to put my pawns on, on light squares. Because then they will uh, they will work very nicely together with... Uh, uh, together with my bishop and against my opponent's bishop. Recently started studying the games of Wilf Anderson. I mean, that's I would like to congratu congratulate you to a wise decision. He, I think, is a legend not only in Sweden but in uh, in the rest of the world as well. Renowned for his uh, skills, especially in end games. One one of uh, the best end games players players throughout history, probably. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, now the pawn on d4 fell, and that seems uh, like an important pawn. Knight c5 is surprising because did he maybe miss that the queen is hanging? I think I can just take the queen. Yeah, happens sometimes, uh, Minion. Uh, but already when the pawn is dropping, then then the position is very very tough for White. I think. Uh, it's a key pawn that you are not allowed to to lose. Mm, let's see here. I would to play. Belgium, Belgium player, killer stapler. Let's play with killer stapler. And let's play e4. Let's play some gambits now. I'm in a gambit mood. Uh, d4. How to play against Alec? I think f4 is nice. The four pawns attack. It's the most aggressive way. Mm. But I don't remember really how it... How the lines goes. Knight f3. Next, after e6. He will play e6, I think, for sure. Ah, rook uh, knight before, but I think rook c1 is fine. I'm covering all the squares. Uh, and I mean, after a3, he would probably have to move move back again. And I doubt that it's worth two tempi to provoke, or, or let's say one uh, one and a half. Shouldn't, shouldn't be worth it. A3 is actually very useful because later when I push D5, then the knight cannot go to B4. So, I yeah, I don't think this knight B4 is so healthy. Uh, let's see. Bishop B7, okay, D5. I, th I think I'm uh, this knight B4 really, uh, really hurts black here. It, it, it costs a lot of time and energy. Hmm... Knight f so it's actually not hanging on c4 because I have queen a4 check. But how do I utilize that fact? I play knight d4 maybe. Let's try knight d4. Uh, yeah, of course. So I said it's not possible to take, but I, I want to take on f5 and force him to take with the e pawn, and then I can push c5. d5 is not hanging anymore. Uh, the thing that worries me slightly is what happens if something like bishop g5 or. And to hit my bishop on e3. Now I think I got what I wanted. But actually, if I play c5, then the knight will come to c4, and that's not that's not actually that great. Hmm. Yeah, 
that's that's that, that was actually not what was supposed to happen. But I have to do it anyway, I think. Hmm. So knight c4 I will take once, I will move my bishop, and if he takes on b2, I will hope that his knight is trapped. Let's say bishop probably to d4 makes the most sense. So knight takes b2, I think we need to trap the knight. Uh Let's see. Okay, there is some move like bishop g5, but I think in general after bishop g5 I can even just give the exchange on c1 and I still should be doing very very well. Uh, yeah, knight takes b2, but what is the point of the queen e2? Is it just trapped? Or is there something that I'm missing? Looking at some ideas like Knight d3 or but it doesn't seem to work. Yeah, I think I think I'm just winning the knight. And knight a4 is actually a nice try to get to the key pawn on d5. But uh, I mean it's a nice try, but it's still a knight up for me as well. So shouldn't be enough. Ah, check there. This I missed as well. This now it's getting scary actually. Should may should have retreated the bishop to the to the other side probably. And G two was hanging on the other hand. Yeah, not so. Easy. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, what have I done? And what can I do? Hmm. So I would really like to trade queens or hit the bishop. So queen c4 is something I'm thinking of, but then queen d2. A rook is saying it. Probably rook d1 for some knight c3. I think knight c3, if he takes, okay, I will be happy to trade queens even though I'm losing a pawn. Uh, taking on c5 is also possible. Now I thought I would be able to at least get out somehow. Uh... But it's definitely not uh, not that easy for me. King f2 looks a bit scary, but probably is okay. Bishop f2, wow. Now my opponent is really fighting very well here. Killer stapler. Bishop f6 as well. How do I fight against this? I want to play knight e4, but I'm not sure that it works. So knight b5. If queen b6, at least I have bishop d4. That should be good enough. Mm. And now... Even taking maybe actually. Yeah, why not to take? Uh, and take. Yeah, now it's, it's too many uh, pieces are hanging for black here, so... Uh, yeah. Let's take with the bishop. And check, and very soon. Checkmate. Actually, I flagged, but uh, yeah, this was a great game by Killer Stapler. He played really, really well. Like, his queen takes d5, especially this knight a4 was was an excellent move. Uh, now I think there is not that much time left, so I think it it will have to be uh, some bullet. Arcudipto has uh, been around. Let's try to play a game with Arcudipto. Casual bullet. Mm. Killer Stapler, you, yeah, you played a good game. You played really well as well. Uh, let's see if Arcudipto is here. He is here. I think he just went online. Uh, Bishop g5. So I'm go I'm switching to bullet because there is not that much time left. So uh, just to get more games in, that's the reason why we are switching to bullet. So I will be able to play some four or five more games, hopefully. Queen e4. Must be tried, but uh, it's not enough, unfortunately. Uh... 
Let's see. Ah, yeah, I can actually see on the on on the the green dot there. Yeah, if it's uh, if it's uh, someone online or not. Actually, this Pipanchuk seem to be online, offline, but they went off online very quickly. Yeah. Ah, wing gambit. Wow. But probably not exactly how Wing Gambit is, is supposed to be played. Uh, let's see here. My opponent is very fast. Hmm. Not that pleased with what I have done. But should be should be fine still, but not uh, I'm not like particularly better, which I really wanted to be against the Wing Gambit. Let's see. And I'm down on time quite a bit. Mm, I think I need to spice things up a bit. Yeah, this looks looks like the spicing strategy worked well. To take here. If I take my screen, then there is a checkmate on F1. Thank you for the game, uh, Pipanchuk from uh, South Africa. Oh. And now let's play with uh, Alexandra. Good luck. My opponent is very fast for a 1500. This is incredible speed. I'm already down quite a lot on time. Uh, and this uh, this is rated bullet, so it's really a serious guy here, Alexandra. But without a country, so we don't know. We don't know where he's playing from. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I took a pawn, but there is quite some compensation. Alexandra, for a 1500, this is some excellent quality, I think. Uh, I mean, I'm a pawn up. Sure, but uh, that's it, yeah? I would uh, normally expect uh, to be more material up by this point. The difference is 1200 points, but... Yeah, I think you need to take on c6 and take on a7 here with white. Yeah, this is what happens. And now it's actually a relatively straightforward draw, objectively speaking. Now maybe I'm slightly worse, because bishop b4 is unpleasant. What did I do here? Ay, ay, ay. Check. King of eight. Yeah, no, I will actually win this one on time, I think, rather than on the position. Oh, turns out there came quite a big mistake after all, but on move 26 in a bullet game, that was very impressive. Well done, Alex. Uh, you you fought very well. Let's see. By Luf. C D for B four. This is some old theory. I, I think it's pretty interesting for White. Not that it would matter that much in bullet, but this is a bullet game, and maybe my opponent forgot that it was bullet. Fits like it by the time management. Mm. Maybe it was just a complicated choice what to play. Now he's really speeding up. So e3 I think is nice because if he takes then uh, they would it would be hanging on f6. No, yeah, now I will, I think, go to the ending. Yeah, two pawns down is difficult to fight. Okay, let's see here. From position, I wonder what this from position is. From Scandinavian, uh, from the Scandinavian opening. Okay, let's play one game from the Scandinavian if my opponent is here. Uh...
Why did I allow this capture on? That was insane. But now it looks very bad. Yeah, checkmate. Actually, we finished with more time, both of us. Probably should have spent more time at some point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very strange position to challenge from. Yeah, but anything goes here. Uh, let's see. Shreyan 0711. Mm, ah, it was Chess King Kong. I did not know it was you. Uh, that is what happens in Bullet. Sometimes we lose very fast. There is no time to think. I think the knight is trapped. That was at least my intention, yeah, because the queen covers b5. Uh, and now it should be relatively straightforward, even in a bullet game, because I have complete control of everything on the board. Mm hmm. I just need to move the. Mm hmm. Hoping for queen takes, because then I have checkmate. But if the queen doesn't take, yeah, then we will just trade. And this should be very straightforward to win, actually. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, well thought. Rematch of Ascent? Twice. This is the bullet uh, bullet addicted people. They immediately send rematches all the time. <laughs> okay, one last game. Let me try to play against... Uh, um, Pattison. One game against Pattison. Uh, if Mr. Pattison is here, uh, another Russian. Hmm... Now I allow d5, okay, so now this. Again, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised that these players on like 16, 1700, they are playing so well. And also so fast in this bullet. I mean, I'm, I'm probably slightly worse here. Uh... Which, yeah, but this was very, very risky from for white. Hang on, how do I do this? Do I take immediately or do I take there first? Even here, maybe. Maybe there is the most precise. So bishop takes e5, rook takes d5, and I think I'm picking up a piece. Yeah, okay, that's maybe... Um, I mean, position was completely sound, just bishop takes d5 was too uh, too ambitious. Queen h5 I missed actually, but uh, doubt it may. I mean, I must be able to pick up the bishop somehow. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, probably which one to take? Probably take the knight actually. Mm. Now the knight comes to f3. And the light squared bishops. Uh, the light squares around the king, uh, they are very, very weak. So should be. Uh, should be checkmate. Mm. And checkmate. And I think for me, uh, that will be uh, that will be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the uh, the stream. I, I I for sure had a lot of fun. It was nice playing with you. And uh, yeah, thanks. And uh, see you next time. I guess. Uh, bye bye, everyone. It was a, it was a pleasure.